Hey, yo, what's good, Double Clutch Nation? It's Wygos, and we're gonna be talking about what happened in the NBA today, as it was a pretty fun one with a lot of exciting games, a couple upsets, and some ref controversy. Before we get into it, I'd like to shout out Vince Carter and Chauncey Billups for getting into the Hall of Fame, two of the best ball men to ever suit up in the NBA. The first game of the night was Lakers versus Wizards, in which the Lakers squeezed out a win 125 to 120 against the Wizards, who had just recently beat the Bucks. D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Davis were carrying most of the offensive load for the Lakers, with D loading starting hot from three and Anthony Davis abusing the foul line getting there 11 times in the first half and making all 11. He finished with 21 and 9 at half. LeBron had 13 and 5 assists and D'Lo had 11 with three threes. The Lakers were up 67 to 60 at half and Jordan Poole had a flashback to the pass with 18 first half points and Kyle Kuzma had 13 and 7. They lost the fourth quarter to the Wizards by 10 just barely holding on only winning by 5. Jordan Poole had 29 on good efficiency for once but his 29 points did not contribute to the win as he was a negative 32 plus minus which is crazy when your team only loses by five the lakers bench in total combined for 12 points anthony davis dominated with 35 and 18 two steals and three blocks and went 15 of 15 from the free throw line lebron ended up with 25 7 and 9 and three steals d'lo had 18 points and four threes the lakers shot 16 more free throws than the wizards which is almost a trend every single night we got a sneaker with the blazers versus hornets in which the trailblazers got their 20th win in the season went in 89 to 86 but the Hornets sat out Miles Bridges and Lamella Ball is obviously out for the season they started Grant Williams at center which is a weird choice and the Blazers used it to their advantage Jabari Walker and DeAndre Aiden combined for 20 first half rebounds and Grant Williams only finished the game with seven by himself the Trailblazers as a team had 19 more boards than the Hornets which led to them having 15 more shot attempts which in a close game where it's 89 to 86 15 more shot attempts is a really big deal Brandon Miller led the Hornets in points with 20 DeAndre Aiden had 24 and 16. Scoot had 22 and 10 on really efficient shooting and four threes, though he did have six turnovers, which has been a struggle all season. Jabari Walker also had a pretty good game, playing 41 minutes and finishing with 14 points and 22 rebounds at power forward. The next game of the night was Pistons versus Hawks, which is a really weird one. Obviously, the Hawks won 121 to 113, as everyone probably expected. Cade Cunningham did not play. At the half, the Hawks were leading 59 to 50, and Malachi Flynn had 17 first half points off the bench but it was mostly just impressive performances from the Hawks side and this game finished with Jalen Johnson's first career triple double he had 28 points 14 rebounds 11 assists four steals and a block and he has such a bright future ahead of him man he's been so good this year just shout out Jalen Johnson he's a he's a dog Clint Capella had a double double with 11 points and 16 rebounds DeJounte Murray had 24 and 11 DeAndre Hunter had a super efficient 26 point game and four assists and on the Pistons side you got the most random 50 ball from Malachi Flynn off the bench in 34 minutes in which his final stat line produced 50 points 6 rebounds 5 assists 4 steals 72 percent shooting and 55.6 percent shooting from three making five of them if you would have told me yesterday that Malachi Flynn dropped 50 points I would have thought you were talking the G League and I wouldn't have known what team it was for winning this game for the Hawks tied them with the Bulls though they will stay at the 10 seed until they pass the Bulls and wins because the Bulls do have a tiebreaker this season for the next game we have the Pacers versus Nets in which the Nets upset the Pacers 115 to 111 and Miles Turner did not play for the Pacers tonight. Though Indiana finished the first half up 62 to 61, for a team like the Pacers who had the sixth seed, winning this game meant a lot and they should have because the Nets aren't even a play-in team. But they didn't make it easy as Cam Thomas had 27 to end the game. Nick Claxton finished with 14 points and 13 rebounds with four blocks. Noah Clowney ended up going off with only 16 minutes played. He had 22 points, which is a career high, and 10 rebounds in his first ever career double double i don't even really feel right giving credit to the pacers players tonight tyrese halliburton had 24 points eight assists two steals two blocks on bad shooting pascal had 26 on below 50 percent shooting obi Toppin had a really good game off the bench with 14 points and three blocks and having a plus 17 plus minus but come on pacers this loss moves you down to the seventh seed as the heat have the tiebreaker and the last thing you need is to be a playing team after that you have the celtics versus okc in which the celtics absolutely steamrolled the thunder winning 135 to 100 though OKC did not play Shy or J-Dub which is obviously their two leading scorers. Boston played amazing defense and it wasn't really a game the whole time but especially in the fourth
fourth quarter as they won that quarter 42 to 17. Josh Giddy was the only player in the starting lineup for the Thunder to shoot over 50% and he finished with 17. The Celtics had seven players in double figures and three players over 20 points being Jalen Brown who finished with 23 points, seven rebounds and four assists. Jason Tatum who finished with 24 points, seven rebounds and three assists. Chris Stapps Porzingis who had 27, 12, four and five blocks absolutely dominating on offense and defense and because of how much they were winning by no players on the celtics had to play over 35 minutes which is great for a team who's going into the playoffs looking to make noise in the biggest blowout of the night you have the timberwolves versus raptors in which the timberwolves won by 48 points 133 to 85 the mcdaniels brothers showdown in which Jaden and Jalen mcdaniels went at it on opposite sides starting for both teams the timberwolves started out the game insanely hot from three and finishing with 13 first half threes winning 58 to 42. Obviously, it was a one-sided matchup and the score differential was way too drastic. Jalen McDaniel statistically outdid his brother in the loss with 13, 8, and 4 on absolutely abysmal shooting. And he played 12 more minutes than Jaden. Rudy Gobert had an 11 point, 15 rebound, double-double, and two blocks. Ant-Man had 28 and 6, and Nas Reed had 23 points and seven rebounds in an absolutely beautiful win for this team, putting them back in first place ahead of the Nuggets. Get it together act of the night besides the Pacers was the Bucks losing losing to the Grizzlies 111 to 101. They played without Dame for the second time in a row. There is no reason that you being the second seed out East should be losing these games. But shout out Jaron Jackson who followed up his last game with 40 with 35 tonight and three steals. Gigi Jackson had 15 points and 12 rebounds in 37 minutes. Giannis only finished with 21 as he struggled to get his offense going. Brooke Lopez had 25 and 10 and they shot 58% as a whole this game from the free throw line. With now losing back to back games against two of the worst teams in the league. There's no reason that a team that has Giannis playing should ever lose to a team like the Grizzlies, especially not after they just lost to a team like the Wizards. The second to last game of the night was the Pelicans vs. Magic, in which the Magic did a really good job on defense and Paolo absolutely dominated. The Magic won this game 117 to 108. Dyson Daniels had a really good game, not hesitating as much, hitting his shots, and playing really good defense. Early into the third quarter, there was a collision between Gary Harris and Zion, in which Gary Harris slipped going right into Zion's knee, in which Zion eventually came out of the game and went back to the locker room with team doctors but shortly returned thankfully as he's finally had a healthy season that is the last thing they need especially with Brandon Ingram being out already. CJ McCollum had 24th quarter points but it didn't matter as the Magic were hitting their shots. Paulo had 32. Franz hit three threes which if you know anything about Franz he's having a terrible year from the three-point line and he hit him at a 50% clip which is much needed. Jonathan Isaac played amazing defense and his presence was so felt as Zion had a rough game and CJ finished with 36 and 10 rebounds at the end of this game with seven seconds left the ref ejected trey murphy herb jones and dyson daniels in a much unneeded altercation that escalated like crazy in a kind of petty way cj went down the court and scored with 0.6 seconds left on the clock but shout out the magic as they got a really good win in this one and the pelicans continue to fall in this rough slump without brandon ingram and in the last game of the night we have phoenix versus cleveland in which phoenix won 122 to 101 and led the entire game after the 526 mark of the first quarter devin Booker dropped 40 and 8 assists on really good shooting and 5 threes to follow up his 52 point game from last time. Kevin Durant had 32, 6, and 7 on also really good efficiency. And on the other side, not a single player in the Cavaliers lineup had a positive plus minus as everyone was in the negatives. Donovan Mitchell had 24 points. Evan Mobley had 20 points and 9 rebounds. Jared Allen had 25 and 4. Darius Garland had 15 points and 8 assists. This win for the Suns is very important as it moves them ahead of the Pelicans and out of the play in, moving the Pelicans back to the seventh seed and the Suns to the sixth seed. Congratulations to Phoenix on this really good win against the Cavs and shout out D-Book for following up 52 with 40. Anyways, that's all the games that we had tonight and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share, support your boy. If you made it this far into the video, comment Orlando Magic. With that said, I hope you all have a good night and enjoy basketball. Mwah.